Good morning students. I am Shambhavi Shukla from Department of Electronics and Communication, IIT, Dr. Ram Manohar Lohia, Awadh University, Ayodhya. Today, we are going to discuss about satellite communication. We will see what is geostationary satellites, geosynchronous satellite and polar satellite. We know a satellite is any object that is in orbit around a planet. Our moon and earth are examples of natural satellites. There are thousands of artificial or man-made satellites are placed to orbit the earth to achieve the various applications. Applications like remote sensing, navigation, global positioning, weather forecasting, and etc. On the basis of the distance from Earth's surface, there are various categories of satellites. The first category is geostationary satellites. There is only one geostationary orbit possible around the Earth. That is, at the distance of 35,780 kilometers away from the Earth's surface. These satellites directly lies above the equator. These satellites orbiting the same speed as the rotational speed of Earth on its axis means it takes 24 hours to complete one orbit same as Earth. This is why it appears to be stationary from the ground at a point of sky. Geostationary satellites appear to be fixed over one spot above the equator. Receiving and transmitting antennas on Earth don't need to track such a satellite. These antennas can be fixed in place and are much less expensive than tracking antennas. These satellites have different applications like communication, television broadcasting, weather forecasting and a number of important defense applications. It revolves in the same direction the earth rotates that is west to east. Geosynchronous satellites are the satellites placed in geosynchronous orbit. The orbital period of these satellites are also same as the earth's rotation period. Geosynchronous satellites orbit is not exactly aligned with the earth's equator the orbit is known as an inclined orbit. From ground, it will be appeared to oscillate daily around a fixed point. From ground, satellites appear to be moving north and south in the sky in a day. Satellite will be at the same place in the sky next day at same time. These satellites return to the same place at a particular time of the day. So, it appears to be stationary from the ground at a point of sky. In this figure, we can see when the inclination angle, the inclination angle becomes zero, then the orbit is known as geostationary orbit. So, we can say that geostationary orbit is also a type of geosynchronous orbit or we can say geostationary orbit is a special case of geosynchronous orbit. A polar orbit is an orbit in which a satellite passes above or nearly above Earth's north and south poles on each revolution. These satellites are very close to in the range of 
200 to 1000 km from the Earth's surface. It orbits Earth 15 to 20 times in a day. These satellites travel north to south over the poles and takes approximately an hour and a half for a full rotation. Polar orbits have an inclination of about 90 degrees to the equator. On the basis of distance from Earth's surface, orbits are categorized in three categories that are low Earth orbits. These are below 2000 km from Earth's surface. The second category is medium Earth orbits that is from 2000 to 35,786 km from the Earth's surface and high Earth orbits that are above than the geosynchronous orbits. We will discuss about these three types of satellites and orbits in our next video. Thank you.